वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल शाइन एंड ग्लो सो एज यू कैन सी बैट एंड प्लीज वीडियो दैन इन टू वीडियो आई एम गिन बी क्रिएटिंग दिस ब्यूटिफुल मेकअप लुक राइट चेयर्स यू कैन सी दिस इज अ वेरी स्नैच इट्स इट्स बेसिकली अ ग्राफिक स्मार्च लाइन एंड लुक बट इट्स वेरी वेरी सिंपल बट गोज रियली वेल विद ऑल योर आउटफिट्स एज यू कैन सी आई एव ट्राइड टू मेक माई मेकअप एंड माई टॉप लुक मोनोक्रोमैटिक बिकॉज आई फील लाइक इट लुक्स सो मच मॉर ब्यूटिफुल विद दिस अ हाई वन लाइक दिस इज गोन लुक्स सो डैम एलिगेंट एंड ब्यूटिफुल यू कैन ऑल्सो एड सम गोल्ड और सिल्वर ज्वेलरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बट आई वॉन्ट टू कीप वेरी सिंपल एंड फ्री एंड ब्यूटिफुल लाइक दिस इज गोइंग लाइक नाउ दिस इज बेसिकली अ वॉइस ओवर मेकअप टोरियल बिकॉज कंस्ट्रक्शन इज गोइंग ऑन एट द बैक ऑफ माई हाउस सो it was difficult for me to sort of like speak and you know make my video and uh, you know shooting the intro after making my video because the construction has stopped so it's going to be basically a voice over it's a very very detailed video of how you can achieve this beautiful looking makeup look it basically full of tips and tricks makeup guide so if you're interested in please keep on watching don't forget to hit the like button share my video subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification so you get notified every time i upload a new video on youtube and now without any Hi guys, so let's get started with today's makeup tutorial. I'm gonna start from skincare to the makeup. So I've already washed my face with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost face wash, and next up I'm using a facial serum. This is by Minimalist, and it's really really good if you have acne marks and scars because it is having niacinamide in it. Then after that, I'm using a moisturizer. This is the Face Shop Chia Seed Hydro Boost Moisturizer. This is so so lightweight and blends into the skin so easily. As you can see, I've taken a generous amount and applying it all over my face, including my face, eyes, lips. nose everywhere hydration is important on each part of your face next step i'm using this sunscreen by neutrogena to protect my skin from the sun rays after that i'm going to start with the makeup so i'm starting off with a nika strap me up face primer now this is a silicone based pore filling primer which will make sure that my makeup lasts long now as you can see the glow is gone because of the pore filling primer i'm going to be using the max strop cream in the shade pink light to add that luminous glow back to my face and give my skin a very glowy effect and this will also make sure that my skin looks glowy from within when i apply my full makeup then i'm going to be using my foundation by maybelline it's a super stay foundation it's a medium to buildable full coverage foundation i've taken around two pumps and i'm applying it on my face in dotted form as you can see and i'm applying it all over my face and after applying it with my fingers i'm going to take my beauty sponge and start to blend it as you can see i'm blending it very lightly in patting motions now whenever you blend your foundation or any cream product in patting motions it blends into your skin really beautifully and it's seamless so it looks so so natural and beautiful and beauty blender gives the most beautiful finish of any cream product after that to hide my dark circles i'm going to be using the l'oreal infallible full wear concealer as you can see i'm not taking a very huge amount taking very little amount and applying it on the areas where i feel like i have a little bit of pigmentation or my acne marks are peeking through and now i'm blending it with the elf camo concealer beauty blender this will actually make sure that my under eyes are very very nicely covered because it's having a pointed tip After that I'm using the Maybelline concealer. This is the lightweight and the light coverage concealer and this is slightly light for my skin tone so as you can see I'm using it for highlighting, applying it on the inner corner of my under eyes, the outer corner, below the area where I'm going to contour. I'm going to apply it on the center of my nose, forehead, chin and start to blend it out. Now the brightening concealer only has to be blended out on those areas where you've applied it not on the full face because that's the area where you want to brighten up. So if you blend it all over there's no use of applying it on a particular area after blending my concealer really well and taking my nice time to blend it out i'm going to use the contour powder i'm not using cream contour because i wanted to keep it very light so this is a cool tone contour powder which i'm applying it on the area of my cheekbone and and nicely blending it out in upward strokes similarly i'm going to go in and with in my jawline then i'm taking a warm tone brown from my eyeshadow palette and creating like a bronzy effect on my cheekbones because i want my skin to look a bit more warmer and sun kissed so i'm applying more warm tone browns to make my skin look more sun kissed then i'm getting rid of all the creases under my eyes and setting my under eyes with the mac studio fix compact and Make sure to get rid of your creases and then set it. Otherwise, the creases will also set in place. After that, I'm using this Waterfit Lip and Cheek Tint by the Face Shop and applying a generous amount and quickly blending it with a beauty blender because this product dries out really quickly. So you have to make sure you're quick. And this is also a warm tone pink color, which looks very very pretty if you're doing like a bronzy look. And I'm blending it with a beauty sponge. After that, I'm using this. 
K Beauty blush in the shade Tickle Pink and I'm applying a very very little amount to my face because it's super super pigmented and I'm using a big fluffy brush so it blends out much more easily. If you use a stiff brush or a tightly packed brush, the blush will settle on one place and look very very chalky and harsh. So to make it look more natural, use a bigger brush. And after that, to blend out further, I'm going to use a beauty blender so that there are no harsh edges. For highlighter, I'm using the K Beauty highlighter. Now this one has a pink hint to it, like a rosy pink hint. And I'm applying it on the highest points of my face. This kind of shades look really really good on fair skin tone. So if you're someone around my skin tone, this kind of shade will look really really good on you. Now I'm blending the contour, highlighter and the blush together. Starting with the eye makeup, I'm going to go and use the same light brown shade that I use for my contour and I'm going to apply it as a transition area on my eyes, making sure to build it slowly and blending it really well. Keep blending it slowly and steadily and don't put a lot of product together because then it will look very, very chalky and dark. Then I'm taking a dark brown color and applying it as a smudged wing liner and giving it like a cat eye effect. Because I'm going to do a graphic eyeliner, this is going to be a base for me to as to where I have to apply the liquid liner. So I'm nicely, slowly blending it out and creating like a base of where I have to apply my liquid liner. After this particular step, I'm going to be using the Faces Canada Liquid Liner. It's a pen liner and pen liners are really easy to work with if you're a beginner and I even really like to use a pen liner. So I'm creating like a small wing with the pen liner first as you can see and then connecting it to the center of my eyelids and creating a very very thin wing. Not going really thick or harsh because I want it to look very beautiful. Then I'm going in with the graphic part of the liner. I'm creating a small liner on the upper part as well and taking it to the center of my lid. Now this is going to give me a very very pretty look. After that I'm going to use this little shimmer on the inner corners of my eyes to add the pop of color and this looks so so beautiful. After that I'm going to be using the same dark brown color on my lower lash line to create a depth. And then I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. Now the hourglass shape of this mascara is so damn amazing. It gives such a good length, volume and uh, gives you a very very fairy like lashes and it's so damn beautiful. And I'm going to take my good little time to apply my mascara because I feel like good long lashes look so beautiful and can change your makeup look. And after doing both my eyes, as you can see, I'm going to do my lip makeup. Then I'm going to start with a lip liner. This is the Nika lip liner. It's a very, very nice nude pink color. And I'm going to apply it on my lips. And I'm slightly overlining my lips. And I feel like uh, from when I started to use a lip liner, my lip makeup or my lipstick game has changed. Then I'm using the Nika lipstick in the shade Helena 12 and applying it all over my lips, as you can see. Now, I felt like it's a little too dark, so I added a trick here. I'm going to be using a concealer sealer on the center of my lip and blend it out with my fingers. This will give me a very beautiful ombre effect and looks so so good. As you can see my makeup look is complete and I look so damn beautiful and I've tried to make my makeup and my top look monochromatic as you can see the makeup look is looking so damn beautiful. Oh my god these beauty shots. Uh, I'm gonna be seeing you in my next one and I hope you liked and loved today's video. If you did don't forget to like share and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video on YouTube. And now I'm going to be meeting you in my next video pretty soon. Bye-bye.